We've traveled to exotic Vietnam to investigate reports of the wild man, a large man-like ape similar to Bigfoot's living in the jungles that make up almost 40% of this country. Although local villagers have passed down stories of these creatures from generation to generation, and many soldiers returning from the war came home describing their own encounters, the lack of physical evidence proving its existence keeps the wild man from being recognized by science. Our first stop is in Hanoi. We've come to meet with a professor who teaches at the University of Vietnam. He's been studying this subject for about 30 years. He knows where to go. It's up in the mountains. It's full of tigers, full of wildlife, and it's dangerous. Some tiger who already eat flesh and attack human will do that again. Oh, shit. I am scared to death of tigers. Don't get me wrong. I'm stoked to be here in Vietnam looking for the wild man. But with the wild tigers, poisonous snakes, unexploded ordnance, this is probably going to be the most dangerous expedition we ever do. Trước kia thì muốn xem cái dấu chân. Để xem lại. <cười> đây là cái dấu chân của nó to bằng cái dấu chân thực. Và đây là cái dấu chân duy nhất ở Việt Nam có. When Professor Viet pulled out that cast, I was blown away. I mean, footprint casts are hard evidence. And me being a track nerd in Vietnam, seeing possibly the very first purported Vietnamese wild man cast anywhere, well, that's amazing. And that shows a huge uh, fat pad on the bottom of the foot, which is yeah. consistent with a North American Bigfoot. And those toes. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not human. There's probably only a handful of these things anywhere in the world. This might be the only legitimate one at all. That's yeah, what we want good. to see. Thank you very much. Thank yes. you so much. Oh, that was an out. honor. Dr. Viet told us about his research areas and urged us to go to Cape Bon. So that's where we're going to go. 